Innovation in health technologies is something that can be taught, can be learned, can be practiced, can be perfected. What's amazing about the Stanford Biodesign process is it starts with an idea. That's really all. And at the end, you may have a technology that'll help real people at the bedside. Well, and then we have the zero yeah, pass, yeah, right? Yeah. Inventing technologies is, is hard. Getting technologies through to patient care is really hard, that final mile. Dr. Yock founded Stanford Biodesign, an amazing program that trains innovators in medical technology development. Recently, a patient came to see me who presented with a heart rhythm problem that required close monitoring. I prescribed a technology called Zeopatch, which the patient wore continuously for 14 days. The patch monitor generated 30,000 pages of data. The patient was a gentleman named Dr. Paul Yock. So it was a a uh, wonderful small world experience to, to uh, be prescribed a technology that uh, students in our program uh, had invented. I have to add that there have been a lot of other technologies that have come out of biodesign and I'm not anxious to sample more of them as a patient. All of these are an example of um, secret sauce of, of the program, which is uh, tapping into the expertise in the Valley. Our students have this wonderful access to this smorgasbord of, of people. So this is the 18th uh, year of, of our uh, program. Every year we have something that comes out that the business environment, venture capitalists and so on say, yeah, but yeah, we'll take that one forward. That's how we wind up with uh, having had 50 uh, companies start. 30 of our alums are currently CEOs uh, of those companies. I don't know if you heard that, that they've done their first clinicals now at Stanford oh, with this. I heard they were really close, yeah. The Zeo patch is an example of something that Stanford does really well, and, and that is we're great at fundamental discoveries, but we're also very good at taking those discoveries forward and, and getting them into patient care. What makes Stanford cardiology so extraordinary are the people. These are the leaders in the field, people who have made important discoveries that have transformed how we think about cardiovascular disease and how we treat it.